Well, no one wants to be a party pooper, especially on one of the biggest holidays of the year. But downing some champagne could come with some major consequences if you decide to get behind the wheel. We're joined by Danny Alvarez with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Thank you so much Thank for you. messing up your sleep schedule and coming to stick around it's with us. It's absolutely awesome. So I think, you know, it's illegal any other day of the week, but today it's going to be an especially big deal because you guys are out in full force. Well, I think, Chancellor, it's important to understand that today for us is unlike any other day. There's still crime and then we still have a full litany of things that we have to take care of. DUI is just one of them. But what we know is that with all the extra partying and people on vacation and all the extra travel, that there's more people on the road and there's more people drinking. So we just want everyone to be safe. And with all the availability of um, you know, ride sharing and taxis and tow trucks. Uh, there's no excuse to get on the road after having drank even just a little bit. Exactly. Uh, one of the things you were talking about is uh, drunk driving is buzzed driving. Right. Even if you've had a couple sips of wine, depending on who you are, some people get a little bit more tipsy than others, and that can still put you in the slammer. Absolutely. And, and the numbers show that today of all days, 58% of all accidents will be related to having some alcohol, wow. even a little bit. So what, what, we, what people think is, oh, you know, today is special. I just had one. I can make it home. What we're trying to make sure people do is understand that if they, if alcohol touches your lip, the keys should go away. Give them to somebody else. Just do the response thing and the tolerance for people drinking and driving goes down every single day because the options are just so vast for mm. doing something else. Yikes. Well, we definitely don't want people to get in trouble. So you were talking about uh, and we can go over some more of these options in, in a little bit more depth in terms of getting home without your car, right? <laughs> And it's it's too easy to do. So what are some of the ways that you that uh, the sheriff's office believes is the best way to get home? Actually, the best way is to plan your night before you get there. So yes. if you know you're drinking, right? So you and I are going to go out and you want to drink. Give me the keys and I'm going to be the designated driver. Th that's the simplest thing. Right. No technology required. No nothing. Right. But if if that's not the plan, then our plan should be. Are we going to call the taxi? Are we going to call Uber or Lyft? Are we going to call the tow truck? AAA offers a free service. Yep, tow to go. Tow to go. Um, and we appreciate that. As as a partner in the community. Um, the other thing is uh, just hang out, you know, stay where you are. And I think other people are starting to take responsibility um, for parties that they're throwing. So if you're going to have a party, you should have a plan to make sure that everybody gets home safe. Um, maybe take people's keys away. Mm, good point. And then, of course, you want to report drunk driving. Absolutely. If you see it, you can call 911. Uh, FHP also has Absolutely. Star FHP, I mm -hmm. believe. So, yeah, we don't we want to keep everyone safe and sound and no mug shots for the, no, for no. the first yeah, day of the new year. Don't call me for mug shots. I, I, I will probably call I you. you. Someone's going to do it, unfortunately, <laughs> but we hope that you won't. Thanks so much, Danny, Thank for, for coming me. on the show. And stay safe. Thank, yes, stay safe. And let's go to Jason now.